Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, we are going to see how to find out the Laplace transform of f prime of t. Now, here we have Laplace transform of f of t that's equal to f of s, and also we can write this one as integral going from zero to infinity e power negative st, and then here we will have f of t right here dt. Okay. Now we are going to see what's the Laplace transform of f prime of t. So for f prime of t, what we have to do is, do is uh, instead of this f of t, we have to replace this one with f prime of t. So this is going to become 0 to infinity e power negative st. And here we are going to have f prime of t dt. And since this is an improper integral going from 0 to infinity, what we can do is we can take the limit. Let's say limit n approaches infinity. And then instead of this infinity, we replace that one with 0. So actually n. So 0 to n and then e power negative st f prime of t dt. Now we have to take the integration. To take the integration, we can look at the derivative and integration. So let's take the derivative and integration. Here to take the derivative, I choose e power negative st. And if you take the derivative of e power negative st, that's going to be negative s e power negative st. And to take the integration, I will choose f prime of t, f prime of t. And if you integrate f prime of t, that's going to be just f of t. And the cross multiplication from here to here, that's going to be the first part of this integration. Because this is going to go like u v minus integration of uh, integration of v du, right? Because integration of u dv is equal to u v minus integration of v du. That's the integration by parts. So the first term will be cross multiplication like this. This is the uv. So here we are going to have limit n approaches infinity. n approaches infinity. Then multiplication of this one. That's going to be e power negative st right here. And then f of t. That's going from 0 to n. 0 to n. And after that we have plus integration 0 to infinity. Then s e power negative st f of t dt f of t dt now this part like uh, let's solve let's simplify this one limit n approaches infinity now if i substitute n for this t this is going to become e power negative sn and uh, we will have f of n right here minus e power negative s times 0 f of 0 I just substituted this 0 and n because first we have to substitute n for the t then this will become negative sn f of n minus after that we have to substitute this 0 so this is going to become e power negative s times 0 f of 0 and after that we have this integration let's write the integration right here integration I move this s to the front because we are integrating the, this one with respect to t so s is just going to be a constant so I move this one to the front s integration 0 to infinity e power negative st f of t right here and then dt okay let's continue here now from this one you can see the first uh, the last term if you look at this one this whole thing this is equal to here here we have 0 to infinity e power negative st f of t dt that the whole thing is equal to f of s so here what we, are, we what we can do is instead of this whole thing we are we can replace that one with f of s right here and also we have to put the s in front that's going to be just a constant so s multiplied by f of s that's going to be the replacement for this one and here you can see we have e power s times 0 s times 0 means that's the whole thing is going to be 0 e power 0 is just 1 so we can just neglect this part but f of 0 we don't know what is that but so we have to write that one right here f of 0 and then here we have e power negative sn f of n now here we have exponential function with n n is actually we are going to replace it with infinity so e power negative infinity that's going to be zero and also since f of t has exponential order f of t has exponential exponential order this whole thing is going to be also zero so the whole thing is zero zero minus f of zero plus s f of s so if we simplify this one since we have negative right here we can move this one to the other side like 
we can rearrange this one in a better way so this is going to become f s f of s and i move this negative to here and f0 remains right here this is going to be the laplace transform of f prime of t okay s f of s will let me undo this one let me undo this one because okay here we go s f of s minus f of 0 is going to be the laplace inverse of f prime of t and that's how we do that and if you want to if you want to learn differential equation there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time